Welcome to Looptopia. I know it's been a little bit. I'm going to give you a quick update of what we've been doing. We have been busy, but there are a lot of projects that like look really like we're doing nothing, but <laughs> we really are doing stuff. But today I'm going to show you just a quick uh, rundown of our potatoes. So we are starting with Gold Rush. And what we decided to do is do an experiment. We are doing a plot where we're going to do regular farrows, and then we're going to do these grow bags. So some of these grow bags are different kinds of potatoes. Since we're new to this area, I don't know what grows well and what doesn't. So we've got purples, we've got reds, we've got whites, gold rush, we got yellows and Yukon gold. And today we're putting in more, actually the gold rush and some russets we had left over. I don't even know what kind of russet they are. They're from the grocery store that just went out of control. So we're gonna try them and put them in the ground and see what happens. The rest of these are all seed potatoes. And what we're doing is we're filling these half up. We're putting biochar, and the biochar has been impregnated with this stuff. So um, it's been soaking for a few days. And there's also something called jackpot. It's like minerals you put in. Put a few teaspoons of that in. And then what we're gonna do is um, once we, this, you can kind of see the uh, biochar in here. And now we're gonna do the fertilizer. So we'll just put a cup in each and then we'll put the potatoes down. These ones are already finished. We put straw on top just to keep the moisture in because we're not here every day. We don't live at the homestead yet. So we do a cup of fertilizer in each bag. And believe it or not, this is vegan fertilizer. Um, we're kind of worried about putting dead animal products like usually it's blood or feathers or something. And I really Fish don't bed. trust that. Um, not introducing a bunch of salmonella and bacteria and stuff. So that's what it looks like. So again, we're not at our homestead full time, which we're hoping to get there eventually, but this is a vegan mix. I can link it in the description, but Lorelai, my partner made a really good point that um, if we were to use like fish guts and stuff like that, they draw the wild pigs out. And that is something we want to avoid because they would tear these potato patches up. And if you haven't seen it, there's the Connex. It was a complete disaster. I'll make a whole nother story about that delivery. But it's out and about, and we've got different piles of dirt here poured by a truck. You can see where that got stuck in the mud. So we had some topsoil delivered. Normally, if we had time, I would just turn our soil into really good soil, but I feel like things are collapsing and the inflation's getting out of control pricing. We just bought the soil when it was cheaper and had a dump truck. Bought it a few months ago and this one's new and uh, the ground's still not dry. Things are getting stuck. That was the dump truck got stuck there for a minute. So we're working on it. We're slowly coming out here about every other day and getting stuff done. So these are the store bought. I think they're russets. Um, they just said like Idaho potatoes and we let them go wild because we just never got around to eating them. So we're going to plant them and see what happens. Usually they spray it with inhibitors, but this doesn't look like it's been sprayed. Um, with the inhibitor, sometimes you can wash it off. The rain will eventually wash all the stuff that's been sprayed off it. And these will grow, or sometimes they will grow and they will make greens and everything, and then there'll be no potatoes. So we're just going to see what happens. The other thing they always recommend is you buy seed potatoes so they're disease-free. I don't know if these have disease on them or not, but we're going to contain them into a pot in case they do. So here's what they look like. Here's the gold rush. You'll see that these are 25 gallon containers. I can put the link, um, although I think they only sell 20s now. But you'll see how you set it right on the fertilizer in the biochar. You don't actually mix that stuff in. You want it to be real accessible. Um, these are the mutant ones that from the grocery store. I'm gonna have to be real careful about knocking them off. I expect them to grow real fast, actually. So that's what it looks like. So we will put another four inches of dirt on this, four or five. And that, believe it or not, they will push through that. And then we'll put straw on top of that just to keep moisture. So you can see that's what it'll look like finished, but I'm not gonna film this, just covering it with dirt. So one thing I forgot to mention is if you have problems with scab on your potatoes, you'll wanna make sure that the ground's acidic by putting sulfur pellets or sulfur powder on. You can also use pine needles if you don't have any around. But you need the fresh pine needles, not the old pine needles. Thanks for checking us out. I'll keep getting better about doing the updates, but don't forget we're over at Odyssey and for every five stories we do on Odyssey, we do like one on YouTube. So if you want to see what we're really doing, what you 
like all the uncensored stuff that we can't talk about over here at YouTube, just come over to Odyssey or Brighton. Check the links below and you can find those in the description. Lastly, I forgot to mention that we are still looking for people to uh, join our homestead out here. So if that's, you think, you know, we'd be a good vibe, come join our Telegram group and come talk to us.